hello guys welcome back to the chart tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix can't connect to server server offline multiplayer and connectivity issue when you are trying to play overwatch 2 on your pc and you're having a lot of trouble and how we can fix this up so let's dive into it so the first one what you have to do is you just have to check the server status right so as you can see right now i'll be giving this link in the description where you can really understood whether they are going through any kind of uh, server outages in the last 24 hours as you can see and for, for many of the users they are having the trouble and also even if you go back you can see that even in the two days ago many latest articles were on the server status issues so they're really going through some issues right now but even though th that will be fixed in the meantime so this is just a make sure that you have to do that you have to check whether they are going through any kind of server issues or they're going to through have any kind of things and also you can check on the official uh, twitter account which will be given over there itself where you can reach they are going through any kind of server issue and you can check the latest updates which they are going through and that will be helping guys out this is a basic step if as you can see if they're going through any kind of server out then there is no possible way that you can fix from your end all you have to do is you just have to wait so let's move to the next steps first and foremost one is when you're having the trouble all you have to do is you just have to close the game then you just have to uh, close the game and you have to go over here and you just have to restart your pc and most probably pc or laptop you have to do a normal restart and you have to launch the game once again and i think most probably they should be completely fixed this is the basic step and the first one which you have to try out after trying this if it's still not working then we just have to move to the next one sure there is no server outages on a region the next is all about you have to follow the next one which is all about you have to make sure the date time and the time zone are currently completely correct on your pc or laptop as you can see over here it is all correct so i can make the respective changes over here in the settings for that i just have to click on the settings now from here i just have to make sure over here in the system i have to make sure all these things are completely correct so that is very important when you're going through these kind of things which is very important that the date and time and everything should be completely correct or else you'll be having the trouble so that is very important or else uh, most probably when you're trying to launch the game as you can see if you go over time and language as you can see there is date and time language and region i have to select the first one so i can set up the date and time set time zone or automatically i have to set this up so i have to try all these things simultaneously for the language and region for the location of mine i have to do the necessary and i have to select the english united states where it is and i have to select the respective country and all those things should be there so this is what you have to make sure that it is all done over here and most probably you have to go to the next one if it's not working the next one is all about you have to run the command on the cmd so the command will be given in the description and here this is the command that is i have to run this command that is net int over here so i just have to copy this so i'll be giving these commands in the description so you don't have to worry i have to go over here and i have to type cmd then i have to click on run as administrator then i just have to paste it right and i have to press enter and as you can see once you're done with this one most probably after trying these things you just have to close this and what you have to do is you just have to wait uh, you have to completely finish this particular one and once it is done you just have to close this particular one and what you have to do is you just have to close this and you have to try to launch the game and most probably this will be completely fixed even after trying this if it's still not working the next is you have to disable manual proxy for that you just have to go over here and you have to click on settings now from here on the network and internet you have to select this one and as you can see there is an option called proxy you have to select this one as you can see the automatically detect settings as well as the use a proxy server as you can see the manual proxy server is turned off so you have to disable this is very important if it is turned on you have to disable this right so after proxy server is disabled you have to check with the launch the launching the game sometimes it might work and even if it's not working then we just have to go to the run the network troubleshooter for that what you have to do is you just have to go over here in the search and you have to go to the settings now from here you just have to click on uh, over here in the network uh, over here in the system you just have to scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot 
and you just have to click on other troubleshooters and you just have to wait and what you have to do is just have to scroll down and as you can see there is a network adapter you just have to click on the run so that it will be running by default and if you're having any kind of issue of anything is missing out in between most probably they'll be able to fix the issue and that will be fixing the issue up this is also very important sometimes by just doing the uh, run networking troubleshooters the issue has to be fixed and this is what you have to do and this is very important you just have to close this moving to the next one is all about you have to run few more commands in the cmd for that i'll be giving in the description and these are the commands okay these are the commands which you have to try out that is one by one you have to run these commands so i'll be copying these one so i'll be going over here in the command and i'll be clicking on run as administrator and i'll be pasting it so i have to press enter simultaneously i have to go to the next one which is all about ip config release so i have to copy this i have to paste it over here and i have to press enter simultaneously i have to go over here on the ip config renew so i have to copy this and i'll be pasting it over here now i have to press enter simultaneously for net uh, or winsec or reset so i'll be pasting it so i'll be doing it one by one so i'll go for the next one so i'll paste it sorry i'll paste it i'll go for the next one i'll paste it like this okay so all you have to do is just copy it and paste it and most probably the magic will be happening in between so you have to press it and the last and the least one that is uh, interface tcp reset so i have to just press it and i have to press it enter so it is done so this is what you have to do and you just have to close this and you have to uh, close and you have to do a restart and most probably what you have to do is just have to open it once again and most probably the issue regarding this has to be working i mean it has to be fixed if it's not working the next is all about you have to do a complete neat network reset for that you just have to go over here in the settings itself and you just have to navigate to network and internet and as you can see you can do a complete uh, thing over here so what that you just have to click on the wi-fi and you can do a complete uh, from here itself you can completely reset the network settings but it is very important that you have to keep in mind if you're doing a complete network reset as you can see there is an option called rate on network settings that will be completely uh, you have to connect it back all again to the wi-fi so that you should be knowing the wi-fi password or else you'll be in the trouble that is very important so you just have to close this moving to the next one is all about you have to switch to a different network for example as you can see i'm connected over here in the wi-fi which is called wi-fi office so if i have to change with multiple uh, wi-fi connections and i have to see whether i am able to play the game so if it's not the same i have to uh, try with the next one and next one and I keep on trying it most probably after changing the network it has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's still not working the last and the least one that is all about you have to use the ethernet connection which is very important you have to try with the ethernet connection and sometimes in some cases this might work and i'm not saying this this is gonna work but for some users this has worked so that's what i'm saying you can connect to the ethernet in if you're having the ethernet you can connect to that and sometimes it might work and the last and the least one is all about you have to update your windows for that as you can see you just have to navigate to settings over here now click on windows update and you just have to wait and go for uh, windows update and most probably as you can see the cumulative update for windows 11 x64 based system kb5017383 is available so you just have to download and install it and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed so these are the basics trouble out which you have to try out when you're having the error you can't connect to ea server server offline multiplayer and connectivity issue on your pc and or your laptop and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye